The goal to the success of any workflow is the addition of metadata. Metadata is information about a photograph that helps you find that one photo that you want to print among the thousands that are in your collection. You're already accustomed to seeing the benefits of using metadata, probably without even knowing it. If you've ever shopped for camera equipment online, you've probably searched by price, number of megapixels, or manufacturer. Each of these search terms use metadata entered into the database to help you find just the camera you're looking for. Searching for photos in Expression Media works the same way. Let's say you want to find a photo you shot in Colorado, in Rocky Mountain National Park, on Trail Ridge Road. It would be time consuming to slowly scroll through your entire image library to find just the photo you are looking for. It's much faster to select the keyword for Trail Ridge Road than to select from the thousands of images presented. Here are a few of the ways that you can begin adding metadata to your files to speed up the searching and finding process. With my clients that I consult with, I always recommend that you begin adding metadata during the image downloading process because I know photographers don't add metadata after the fact. Unless it's done up front, it usually isn't done at all. So I'd like you to get in the habit of adding metadata as you download and import your files. Fortunately, Expression Media gives us a tool to do just that. So I'm going to return to my import items from disk and camera, and I'm going to come back to these flower photographs that I've already downloaded. Now, one thing that I didn't show you before is under the download, we have the options pane. So we can place those in a given folder, we can rename these, and we can also annotate adding metadata. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these. So I'm going to call these flowers and give it a date. Some photographers like to do the subject followed by the date. I actually prefer to do the date first. So I'll do by year 2007 underscore 05 and 23 is today's date. Then flowers or Colorado or travel or country whatever it is to help signify what that subject is. Then I do an underscore and Expression Media will automatically renumber these as they're imported. Now I can also go in here under the annotation and I can create a metadata template. And what this metadata template really is designed for is to add your copyright information, your creator information, and your contact information so that you have access to these files and anything that you send out whether it's for printing or online, has your contact information in it and will help protect you and protect your rights to the photos. So I'm going to scroll down through and under the author, I'm going to put my name. And as I've already entered some metadata from a previous import, it's going to remember that under this pull down menu here. So credit is J. Kinghorn and the source copyright here. Now, copyright symbol can be kind of a tricky one to add. So you'll want to come down here to your Start menu. And let's come to All Programs. And under Accessories, we want to go to System Tools and Character Map. And clicking on the Character Map here will give us the copyright symbol. Double clicking. And we can select that just once. Select Copy over here to copyright and paste in 2007 and 2007 your name and all rights reserved rights usage terms not everyone needs to add something in this field if you would like to you can choose rights managed that just indicates that this is not a royalty-free photograph that anyone can use however they like. If they want to use it for their website or use it in publication, they need to call you. And if you have a URL with that licensing information, you can add that as well. Then you can add your city, state, country, country code, and so forth in here. You also want to fill in the creator address, city, state, postal code. You notice that these creator fields differ from the location city state here. These I would suggest using as specific to a given shoot. So for example if you did a, an ice climbing shoot in Uray, Colorado you would add these keywords in here, Uray, Colorado. 
For the purposes of this template, we want to add very generic information that can be applied to every single photograph that you download. Instead, you'll want to use these creator fields. So I'll type in this information here quickly. Okay, so I've added my information here, my contact information, and now I'm ready to create my keyword template. And you can title it anything that's going to be self-explanatory so you know what it is that you're looking at. I called it Basic Copyright JK 2007, just so I know that when 2008 rolls around, I'll need to update it. I'll choose OK, and then I'll select that here, and then choose download. 